think in the game. The King Tiger. Notice, standard for vehicles of its... Hello there. I have not been able to get rid of this little guy. He's been extremely affectionate today haven't you? But how's it going people? Jack here with another video. So you may have noticed that the awesome boxes there in the background is not a blur, it's just my camera Nvidia stuff doing. Oh my god. But that's because your boy is moving out, especially because my education is done, bachelor of physics done, over with, and I can now focus on doing this full time. Yes. Not the physics part, but YouTube, just to clarify. So that means more uh, quality content that are more my own. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see about that with time. But today's video is from Seth Zintag on apparently more modern video games, which is a nice thing, especially those that I know of. This is on Company of Heroes 2, which I haven't played, but I've played the original one. It was pretty good. And I once went on Steam to check out if I could uh, get the second. And I did not. Because for a game that was for definitely a good price, uh, it had an amount of DLCs that were too expensive to my liking. And that is of course beside the fact that I've spent a similar amount of money on all the DLCs on Total Warhammer 2. Yeah, I may be selective with them, but I still have principles. If everything else fails, one can always play the mandolin. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> Come on, we all love Audrey 2 too. But in any of the circumstances, we have Company of Heroes 2's review by Seth. Let's check it out. Hey, hey people, Seth here. Fellas, I gotta confess, Redacted. I'm down bad. I uh, oh. got caught peeing in the sink. Now, uh, I don't think that's weird. It's a victimless crime, just like oh. punching someone in the dark. If the sink is so forbidden to urination, then why is it placed so perfectly? So perfectly. My hesitation. But uh, I feel embarrassed. <laughs> no, not because I did it, but because I got caught. I'm not- Seth has never used a Spanish or like Southern European toilet, has he? Go to countries like France, uh, Italy, Spain, where my parents currently live. When I once visited them, I saw that in their house they had a bidet. Now, if you do not know what a bidet is, it's that one little bowl that you can use to clean your ass without toilet paper. And I almost peed in one of those and it, it's fine. You can do that. But like it kind of looks like a bowl so if you want to have like an alternative for the sink Seth I highly recommend you get one not gonna stop I'll just get better for the future I'm gonna trick shot my stream around the sink bowl that's a silent projectile effectively oh, wow. I'm applying a suppressor to my gun barrel that way members <laughs> of my family cannot ambush me so easily and I will not be shamed by people who immediately revert to authoritarian <laughs> fascist statements such as we have two toilets why did you use the sink? Listen, I saved water. I saved lives. Maybe oh, wow. a few decades from now, there'd be entire villages in sub-Saharan Africa singing songs of praise over how much water I saved. And you know what? All I had to do was unload my fire. What was that? Fire hose in a kitchen sink. Company They've got super soldiers in Africa now. Enough is the topic of this video. It I'm, I'm sorry. I oh, hold on a minute. You're telling me that some African state, and uh, I'm gonna assume that this is Ghana, because only yo Ghanaians are like ah, except for the roads that almost kill you, they are pretty freaking cool but insane. They skipped the step of making a black pepper, right, based on natural herbs and all that, and went straight up to Iron Man. That's kind of badass, not gonna lie. In sub-Saharan Africa, singing songs of praise over how much water I saved. And you know what? All I had to do was unload my fire hose in a kitchen sink. Company of Heroes 2, strangely enough, is the topic of this video. It is an old game played by old men. Namely, yeah. us, Company of Heroes 2. Whoa, is okay. Based RTS I see the mods. The events of World War II, a fictional war where Germany hired Hugo Boss to design their fashionable blitz of Europe, Russia Did. managed to kill 24 million of their own people, and the U.S. They had drip back then. Increased the temperature of two neighborhoods in South.
Southeast Asia. All this happened while the mm -hmm. UK sat in a corner, still wondering why marching all your men single file into machine gun fire during World War I may impact their ability to participate in the sequel. <laughs> Basically, uh, a sequence of events so absurd that we depart from the realm of fiction into history. Everything seen here is not only real, it's historically Again. accurate. Yes, the totally. blast radius of a single grenade, approximately the same size as everything you love and cherish. Yes, the trajectory of a mortar shell, statistically, by random chance, will always land perfectly on a soldier's head, killing <laughs> at least three more. Yes, a machine gun will pin every squad on the map. That is, unless you own the machine gun, in which... It's kind of funny, though, because they, they did play on that historical accuracy. But, like, the tanks here are operating in the same manner that, that a very popular movie that, if you like war movies, uh, especially those surrounding tanks, was uh, T-34. Uh, this is, well, it's named after the Russian tank. It's incredible. Everything there, the combat goes in slow-mo. It's pretty funny. In which case, it pins one enemy gets flanked and eats a Molotov to the face. Tanks counter infantry. Anti-tanks, or AT, counter tanks. But, pray tell, what counters an anti-tank? Answer, the same tank driving tank. towards you. Combat <laughs> is a mystery. Sometimes, True. the enemy calls in air support, pinning our infantry. So, logically, I shoot them down. The burning plane crashes into my friend's base, taking out the rest of his infantry. Here <laughs> is the largest tank in the game, the King Tiger. Notice, standard for vehicles of its... Speaking of T-34, I'll assume that uh, having an Aego paint job gives you... This, it's like having extreme amount of poise in Elden Ring. Like, you can do basically anything. Like, bullet shell will ricochet off of your tank. That's powerful stuff. This time, the traditional German Ahegau paint job. One of the greatest features of this game is custom content, because when I pick a shitty anime faceplate, you get <laughs> no choice spins. in the matter. You're forced to download the same shitty anime faceplate, oh, which, when God. inspected closely, reveals instructions on how to make meth. I believe Central Intelligence can employ this in the future. We join someone's game, forcibly download illegal content to their PC, and do a sting operation on their residence. If a start screaming civil liberties or probable cause cite penal code 129 paragraph 27 subsection c which states <clears throat> anyone caught playing hearts of iron 4 europa universalis or company of heroes 2 is probably a domestic terrorist penal code 120 128 until i think 160 is exclusively around actually you know I i'm gonna do that just for the joke you go down please grapes Look, I still don't know how Susan reacts to these things, okay? I don't want her to pop off and try to kill me. And if you're wondering how I know that, I've got a new hobby watching some of the GCS videos, so some of the criminal stuff gets covered in there. I also really enjoy setting my victory strike to FPS killer. I almost feel like it's an obligation. You see, one of my friends doesn't exactly have the best computer. This encourages oh. him to play his very best, because if he loses, He's not just going to lose the game. Oh, He's my frames. He's going and die, killing him in the explosion. <laughs> but uh, I'm getting off track. Gameplay. You produce units to capture and hold territory. The more territory you hold, the higher your income to spend on units and upgrades. Your objective mm -hmm. is to either take and hold certain key positions or destroy the enemy HQ. Very simple. Sounds fair. Infantry come in squads of four to six. Each of these individuals can fight and die on the battlefield. But as long as the squad stays alive, you can replace place your dead soldiers. This is ah. infinitely cheaper than ordering a fresh new squad. This <laughs> sure. is a micro-intensive RTS where positioning matters. There's a cover system. Four dudes hiding behind a cow <laughs> isn't great, but it's better than getting capped in the middle of the street. Sandbags, broken vehicles, or even a domestic dwelling offer the best protection. However, terrain is dynamic. Of course. A tank shell can transform brick walls into brick memories. A Still can get up with a pin job. into rubble and any men inside into red stains. And Artillery fire causes deformation of the soil, leaving craters that provide cover in the process. Basically, in 1941, we already knew how to terraform. We can take anything we see and make it worse. There's also ice. I don't really talk about it because having ice implies that you're playing a winter map, which nobody does because they suck. Ice breaks on impact. It's a great form of population control and a good way to lose your tank. <laughs> Vehicles are a little different. In general, the distance, angle, size, wind resistance, conductivity, and horoscope of the ammunition against the horoscope of the armor determines damage. Most 
released. 88 oh. millimeter shells are made in June, making them a cancer. While oh my fucking god, stop! Was late September, making it a Libra. <laughs> cancer typically defeats Libra, unless Mercury is in retrograde. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Yeah, the way that that artillery shell just struck my tank and made a big, massive hole into it was such a dick move. Yeah, real Leo behavior. <laughs> That's not bad. In which case, all bets are off. A tank's armor is strongest at the front, which means the back and side is a uh, ripe for fatiguing. Fighting a tank wow. directly is a terrible idea. Your shots won't do much if they even connect. You'll know true terror when you see every anti-tank gun shoot the same target, only to hear a characteristic ting, which means their front plate is so thick that every shell Ooh. just bounced off. On the back yep. side, the heavier of a tank, the slower it moves. So we flank, outmaneuver, <laughs> and ambush them instead. And if that doesn't work, there's always the Soviet approach, where I take a T-34 and ram it into Ooh. your tank. Yes, Germans had the best tanks, but the Soviets designed their gas pedal in reverse. Once you start the ignition, you press Seriously? the pedal to stop the tank. If, hypothetically, your head has been blown off by shrapnel, your foot will release the pedal. The engine will accelerate and take out one of the best tanks in the world. Ho oh, ho! What? And then you make another. Disclaimer, I don't know if this is true. My sources are some schizophrenic guy whose bathroom was red with chicken blood. And before you say, Seth, I don't think he sounds reliable. I'll I, it's great. Okay, okay. Over the years, I've seen a similar thing than what happened with uh, FPS Russia, uh, the guy who reviewed all those guns, uh, happening with tanks. The amount of individuals who are now manufacturing homemade tanks is too damn high, but it's also kind of amazing. I'll have you know, he's a practicing doctor. Let's talk about the races. There's five in total. <coughs> There'll be these sweet moments in life where you're watching a movie, an anime, whatever it be, and you still see an individual rocking the Adolf. And you think, wow. First, let's talk about the bad guys. The British. I, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The orcs are a defense. The dog attack. eater. They can lock down large areas of the map with emplacements, and their tanks feature some of the best armor in the game. Oh whoa! I never saw the decals close up. <laughs> oh, by the way, this the is biggest a, yeah, this is a normal uh, British tank. This is a real Caldwell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Churchill! By the way, the reason why I said the people eater, it was like you could have made like a similar thing to the Uber Danger joke from the Maxwell video. Well, his nickname was the Bulldog. And Churchill's persistence to not wanting to give up against Nazis was pretty much similar to a bulldog not wanting to give up on any other child. I mean, they're literally the same thing. <laughs> Oh, this is real. Everybody gangster until the Churchill starts vaping. They do hey. temporarily suffer from a lack of manpower. That is, until you reach late game, where Saruman begins to command the very mud to rise up and reinforce your squads with Urukai. Goblins uh. are going to give out gigantic loans with even higher interest to uh, no. all of their allies. By the end of the war, I expect their banks to hold mm, most of the gold on the planet. Uh -huh. in this game, they actually fight. They can spam the basic unit and never lose a single engagement because, unlike everybody else, they don't retreat. They just park an ambulance outside and spawn camp your base. If you even dare to counter yeah. them, they'll spam rangers instead. Homo Soveticus. This game's release was met with heavy criticism from Russia, stating that portraying the Eastern Front as a slaughterhouse where civilians were conscripted to fight with a single lever action rifle between five or six people was inaccurate because, by the time you get to use it realistically you're a group of free i'm not too up on my uh russian history i think that my historical knowledge on russia really just started um when they were doing all the whole cold war stuff that's where i begin during the second world war actually i don't know much of their involvement in this game, the Russian army works much the same way. Everything and everyone is mass-produced So no comments. Our tanks are built like shit. Our men leave their homes with teary eyes, domestically abusing their wife one oh. last time because they know full well they might not come back. The oh. High Elves feature the two best vehicles <laughs> in the game. The Polish 
the Kubelwagen. Zwei Kaffee, zwei, zwei Kaffee, drei which has the highest RPM in the entire game. It also dies from a mild gust of wind, which makes <laughs> keeping it alive all the more interesting. And this is a Sturmtiger. The gun is so huge that it must be reloaded I've seen one of these up close before. by the crew for 30 seconds. And this is what it sounds like when it fires. Is it okay to say that I was... I, I'm just slightly bit disappointed that it wasn't going with the... Uh, yeah, I expected that noise to come out of it. <laughs> Oberkommando Vest are highly mobile and aggressive. Their playstyle is keep pushing the front line until you win, and occasionally send a Kubelwagen into their back line. And finally, we have... Oh, hey, viel Spiel! Like Deutsch. Everything is incredibly bureaucratic, da, da, just like da, da, da. Oh nein, Entschuldigung, we have not escalated the <laughs> battle phase. Please continue losing a little longer before we can <laughs> authorize uh, the countermeasure for what you're currently losing to. Wehrmacht has some of the greatest variety in units and tactics, but I am very bad at playing them. I'm highly emotional and unstable. So yes, this <laughs> will affect my opinion. There's many ways to play this game. Against AI, against players, 1v1, 2v2, anything is possible. But let me tell you the worst way to play this game. 4v4 versus expert AI. Oh. Heck, fucking four experts? Hell yeah! I'm ready to get butt pounded. What do you mean? <laughs> this is this is joy. Do you not feel mirth? Which is what we've been doing for the past few weeks. It's a bonding exercise, a form of collective suffering that brings us closer together. Allow me to summarize that experience. <laughs> fucking miserable after that game. Damn. <laughs> Playing against expert AI is like uh, your Goku in a hyperbolic time chamber. You get okay. so mad so fast. You're training years in just days. You're learning forms of anger that take decades <laughs> to develop. My life is Fair. one of those Fortnite shirts you see around town. Except instead, it says, eat, sleep, scream, repeat. I fucking hate this game. I lied. <laughs> it's not fun. You go in with hope. You come out a broken hollow husk of your former self. But why? Because expert gets everything you get. Except oh. double. Plus, perfect reflexes, map hack, and the ability to bend reality. You're oh going to be your first tank shell before five minutes minutes into the game, <laughs> you're going to make progress only to see three red flares drop on top of you, undoing all of your progress. You're going to look away for a split second and see your whole squad disappear. You're going to play the game perfectly and still lose. In summary, Company of Heroes 2. I hate it. It's great. <laughs> but before I continue, consider the following. That purchasing a legitimate copy of the base game allows yes. you to play only two. What a chat. Oh, oh, there's also that. Of the five possible factions. That's right. You only get to play Wehrmacht and the Soviets. The rest is DLC. Sure, yep. that's not too bad, right? <laughs> I mean, it's the least they can ask of us to buy the base game for $20 and then buy the other free races for uh, $40. But wait, it gets better. Most of the game features are locked behind faction commanders, which can be purchased with money. For reference, an entire faction is the same cost as four commanders. However, and people are very quick to point this out, what you could also earn them with in-game currency using the greatest loot box ever made. I've played over 100 hours. Do you know the number of times I dropped currency? Free. Do you know how many more I need to earn a commander? 27. I love simping for corporations. I love cash shops. I love that <laughs> yummy high fructose corn syrup. I love the United Nations. With this in mind, I strongly encourage anyone interested to visit a third party <laughs> instead. The copy yep. you're looking for is the Master Collection. This should include all the races, but instead of $60, you spend $15. Yes, I know everyone <laughs> and their mother is scared of CD key resellers. I bought about 100 keys online. Every single one worked. Then I once bought a box <laughs> copy of Fallout Tactics from the store, which uh, just had an empty case with a code inside. That code oh. didn't work. So, from my experience, putting my trust in a random Polish stranger gives me better results. It really sucks, though. It is true. You know what? I still have my physical copy of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I have a CD key that should work on Steam as well. It literally says it in the package. I put it on Steam, didn't work. I don't have a CD drive. Those are outdated. Not even a Blu-ray one. I don't care. 
might have to install that in another, but I need to get another case for that. I'm not having a portable one. Any of the circumstances, my point is, dude's got a point. <laughs> As always, more content to come, so stay tuned. This video is a test to see how quickly I could churn something out. Turns out for creative output, in the absence of passion, vitriol is an entirely <laughs> viable substitute. A warm sure. to the many members of a merchant's guild, generously funding and bankrolling these videos. You're all truly wonderful. Have a good one. Yeah, it was a quick upload. I just finished watching some of the other, <laughs> the remaining of the video, and yeah. I, w I was right on that topic, like the amount of people having homemade tanks. But this was another wonderful video by Seth Zintag here on Companies of Heroes 2. Have you played the game? Uh, is it as vitriolic as uh, he made it out to be? It seems like it. And I really, really, well, on that, at least that very last point right there will be the thing that will make me not want to get a game. But obviously, with friends around to play the game with you, might be a lot of fun. But with that said, though, guys, thank you for checking out this video once more. Some awesome stuff coming very soon. Uh, if you like the video, you know what to do. Hit the like and also subscribe on to see more. And I wish you all to have a wonderful day. See you guys next time.